All right, you figured out your topic, you've got your keyword, and now it's time for part three, writing the post. And before we can write the post, we need to understand the five principles of great SEO content. And these are the principles that you need to keep in mind as you're writing it. I'm not gonna cover exactly how to do the writing, but I'm gonna cover the structure, the ideas, the philosophy behind the writing as you're doing it, and the things that you need to keep in mind when you're creating your outline and creating the piece of content that you want to get ranked. And most of that comes back to these five principles of great SEO content. These five ideas, these five questions, if you can fully address them in your article, then it will be really, really well placed to rank highly on Google. And I'm gonna dive into each principle one by one and show you some examples in my content of how I've done that. So principle one is to answer their question. Remember the rules about SEO, how the point of Google is to answer people's questions? That means that your content needs to answer their questions. <laughs> if you don't answer their questions, there's no reason that it would be ranked. And answering their questions uh, has a couple other elements to it, which brings us to principle two. You can't just answer the question, you have to provide the best answer to the question. Google is a question answering machine. They want to provide the best answer and they have their ways of determining what answers it well and what doesn't. We don't totally know what those are, so you have to decide what does it mean to provide the best answer to this question and how do I create an article that does that? And part of that is this third principle, which means providing a complete answer. Many people will take a full answer to something and they'll break it out over multiple articles or they'll put part of the answer in the article and part of it in something that people have to sign up for and download. Or they'll put just part of it in the article. They won't write a complete thing. They'll say, uh, here's five ways to not feel hungry during your water fast instead of completely addressing how to not feel hungry during your water fast. It's a key difference between just providing a piece of content and providing one that provides a complete answer. So you need to make sure that whatever you're writing, if you want it to rank for this keyword, it must provide a complete answer to that question. Principle four is to make it actionable. So while providing that complete answer, you need to also make them feel like they can take the information they just got and go do something with it. Because we're fairly sure that Google tracks if somebody comes back to Google and looks for the same thing. So if somebody goes to Google, they search for your topic, they click on your article, and then they immediately go back to Google to look for another answer, that's a sign that you didn't do a good job answering their question. The way that you prevent that is by one, providing that complete best answer, but then also by making it actionable. You want them to finish your article and then go, all right, yes, I'm ready. I'm gonna go do this right now. Let's go, I don't need to go back to Google. If you can do that, you're much more likely to rank and beat out the competition. And then finally, you need to over deliver. So you need to not just answer their question, you need to go above and beyond what they expected coming there for. You need to blow all the other articles on this keyword out of the water by giving away additional information, doing more research, providing free resources, whatever you can do to really make it something worth uh, recommending from Google's point of view and where people are spending a long time engaging with it, not going back to other pieces of content, trying to find more answers and more uh, information on the topic. Those are the five principles. Now we're gonna dive into each one in a bit more depth, starting with principle one, answering their question. 